I've always been accused of having my head in the clouds and being lost at time to time with lack of sleep working in the TV business, but how's this for a spectacular view? Live over the Warren County, Washington County line. I think we're more Washington County line with US-4 just down below. Some of the balloonists have already landed. Hey, good afternoon, Christina. They are amped up. It's the 43rd annual South High Marathon Dance, and they're looking to raise over $837,000 to top last year. The Montgomery County executive says that he was confused and frustrated by this delay. Now, I also spoke with a business owner here in Gloversville who says that she didn't mind the delay and hopes that we can continue to flatten the curve through phase two. It was day two at Southlands Falls Senior High School, and with a new school year brings new memories for both students and staff. This is a great week. Starting off with two days really gets our students in the right mode to start school and then gives everyone a, a quick weekend break. So then the full weeks begin. For senior Rachel Jorgensen, that meant walking through the front doors for the first time, the last time. It was kind of just like a non-bittersweet, more sweet than bitter kind of thing. I was really excited to see my friends, really excited to like see my teachers. It's always exciting to come back because I get to see kids that I had in the past last year and now we're at the high school and it's exciting to have a whole new program and new concerts and just seeing everyone again. It's, it's fun. Heather Stoutinger has been teaching band at South High for over 10 years and for her selecting the music her students will perform is what makes it all exciting. I'm just really looking forward to having programming that's just full and rich and everyone seems to be very positive and excited. So from my perspective, I think it's going to be a great year. And with the new year comes new introductions. Richard Murphy is stepping in as the new interim principal and already is amazed by the efforts the district is making to ensure the well-being of their students. They've really taken students' mental health uh, very seriously. They've really put their money and their time and their efforts into play to support kids, and I wanted to be a part of it. While Murphy is slated to remain at the school until the end of the calendar year, he says that he will stay on for as long as he's needed. I want to help students achieve their aspirations to get to where they want to in life and to make sure that they've achieved what they want to and they're best prepared to go on to whatever that next phase of their life's going to be. Reporting in Southlands Falls, I'm David Miner, News 10 ABC. Jill, I'm so excited we're finally watching this together. I know, we get to see Troy in a Hallmark movie. It's amazing. Now, I know you danced growing up. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be a rocket? Cassie, it's only ever been a dream. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Radio City Music Hall at Christmas time is the only place you can see the world famous Radio City Rockettes. Known for their dazzling dance routines and impressive high high kicks, the Radio City Rockettes have been a New York City Christmas tradition for nearly a century. My first introduction to the Rockettes was of course on the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, which I think is true for a lot of us. Rockettes are proficient in ballet, jazz, and tap. All right, ready for some stroke kicks? Ready. Let's hook up. Beautiful. Pop that bevel, and we'll do four stroke kicks. Five, six, seven, eight. One, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, five, Since the Christmas Spectacular first debuted in 1933, more than 69 million people around the world have seen and experienced the magic of the show. I think that this year is bigger and better than ever. We have a newly reimagined number called Dance of the Frost Fairies, which incorporates these drones that actually fly out over the audience, so the audience is immersed in the number as well and feels just as part of it as we are on stage. It's the only costume they wear that each one is completely unique, just like snowflakes. We start new traditions, but we still uphold our old ones. The Soldier Fall really epitomizes teamwork, right? We are literally trusting and falling on to the woman behind us. So the Rockettes, we are all about our teamwork. It's not just one Rockette or two Rockettes. It's just sisterhood. In many ways, the Rockettes are symbols of what you can achieve if you dream big, work hard, and most importantly, believe in yourself. Five, six, seven, eight. You have to put yourself out there, and it's never not it's scary. I think you can find so much joy and so much success that you didn't even realize in just trying.
Did, did we, we just, just have, have the same dream? dream? I, think I think we, we did. did. Well, I guess like the movie says, Jill, dream big, right? Never hurts. <laughs> From our, our living, living room, room to yours. yours. I'm Cassie Hudson. I'm Jill Swed. News 10, ABC. Multiple law enforcement agencies learning about a de-escalation tool called a bola wrap. All right, wrap. and I walk it up, nice and easy. Wrap, wrap, wrap. The device gives officers a way to restrain a person from a distance without causing injury. It propels an eight-foot Kevlar cord around whatever target you're actually deploying it on, and it wraps up around them. Over 400 agencies across 49 states are already using the bola wrap. Instructors say it's been an effective tool in saving lives. This may be another option for officers out on the street to use a tool that does not inflict pain. Several agencies from across the state were trained with the device this morning. Rensselaer County Sheriff Patrick Russo sees it as a tool that could be used by his officers in the future. If you have a subject who's highly agitated, and, and there was one situation where they showed it was suicide by cop, you know, if, if this can prevent you from actually having to shoot somebody, it, it's, a, it's well worth it, you know what I mean? We don't, you know, we don't go out there looking to shoot people. And... Bola Rap instructors say the device can be especially effective when deployed on someone wearing layered clothing. With upstate New York's climate, Sheriff Russo sees this as another advantage. Sometimes with the taser, the, the, the taser won't go through the clothing, so you're not getting good contact. But with this layer of clothing, it actually helps for the barbs to catch into that extra clothing pad, and it helps restrain the person more with the clothing on. Reporting in Troy, Harrison Grubb, News 10, ABC.